Skipper Pace. This is for Illinois-bred uh, Pacers. Gay Skipper, interestingly, the sire of one of the horses in this race, uh, the number two horse, P.T. Skipper. In fact, this is him. This is a son of Gay Skipper for whom the race is named. Bill O'Donnell, who we were speaking of, the driver here. Well, of course, as we've seen in all of the races tonight, speed is so important, and there's, this race was put together with an unusual amount of early speed, and it will be a preview of what we can look for in our feature race tonight, the fifth race, and we will see a lot of these horses trying to get to the front by that first turn. So critical in a half mile track as we see P.T. Skipper warming up. And that is a fast horse, 57 and 1 in Sportsman. The number five horse, Egyptian Senor, a very well-bred horse, a seven-year-old stallion with a 57 and 2 best record from Sportsman as well, so this is a good horse too. He was off the track for a while, was injured, but came back and has been on the track 11 times this year, earned $14,000. One of the leading drivers in the bike, Dale Heitman. So we are going into this race with P.T. Skipper, a six-year-old gelding the favorite, and the seven-year-old stallion, Egyptian Senor, the second choice. Our track announcer here at Maywood is Tony Salvero, and here he is with the call. P.T. Skipper is there, three wide on the far outside, Egyptian Senior, into that turn, and P.T. Skipper takes command a length and a quarter, Rip Van Rocky, here comes Egyptian Senior, now third, now second on the outside, Rip Van Rocky, back to third, Al Skipper, right there on fourth by two, exits Abernathy and fifth by three, then comes Cavalito, D.K. Bird, and Fox Valley Flame, from the outside, Egyptian Senior to take command a quarter, 29 seconds flat and Egyptian Senior has the lead on the road by two and a half lengths. P.T. Skipper in second. Here comes Al Skipper ranging up on the outside. Rip and Rocky in fourth by three lengths and Abernathy are heading for the half. Egyptian Senior has the lead. P.T. Skipper right there in second. It's Al Skipper now moving forth. Now third. Now second on the outside. They're halfway home. 58 and 2 into the clubhouse turn. Egyptian Senior has the lead, but Al Skipper moves out of on the outside in second. That's P.T. Skipper. Now back to third. It's Abernathy with live cover in fourth, followed by Rip Van Rocky in fifth. Out of the turn, moving up the back stretch. Egyptian Senior has the lead, but Al Skipper moves out of on the outside in second. P.T. Skipper in third. On the outside, it's Abernathy in fourth. They're moving by the three quarter mile mark. There goes Al Skipper. Al Skipper to put a nose in front. It's Egyptian. Senior, Egyptian Senior is coming back on the inside. L Skipper in second, followed by P.T. Skipper. He wants out of third. Here they come, turning for home. Egyptian Senior cuts the corner. It's Al Skipper. Here comes Abernathy, three wide. Down the stretch they come. It's Al Skipper with the lead. It's Abernathy. Here comes Cavalito on the far outside. It's Cavalito. Number four, Cavalito was first. It's a photo for second. Please hold all tickets. Well, it was number four, Cavalito, after uh, the more heavily favored horses seemed to find themselves in pretty good position. It was Cavalito coming up on the outside for the victory. You notice Bill O'Donnell stuck in there. His cover uh, was in a good spot for him earlier. Uh, not quite good enough here. He could not get through. Well, and that's one of the problems you can have on a half-mile track. O'Donnell could never get out. Campbell on Abernathy was in excellent position right there on the six, but the four came on the outside with Hostetler and hooked him at the wire. And perhaps nobody noticed him coming, but he was the winner of this race. We will await second and third place. And, of course, the next race on the card, the two-year-old Philly Pace of the Breeders' Crown Series. We'll be back with that and more. But first, a short timeout. who 
at least won the photos for this fourth race. The winner, of course, we saw Caballito in second place, according to the photo, Abernathy in third place, El Skipper, but the star of the show so far, Caballito. We are waiting, though, of course, for the big race of the night, the two-year-old Philly Pace. And we have mentioned before, the half-mile track could be a little bit of a problem for some of these pacing fillies. Uh, many of them took their records on one-mile tracks and are perhaps a little bit more familiar with that. So what kind of problems will they have with a half-mile track? Here's Kenny Rice. Harness 